Hello YouTube friends, in today's video, I am going to bring you, and at the request of many, a completely homemade washing machine that works with 12 volts. This washing machine will be special for those who want to use it in a caravan in a trailer, or in places where they do not have electricity, and who can make it work with a battery or a solar cell. After the intro, we start with the construction. The materials that we are going to need is a transmission from a washing machine, one of those common to the Chaka Chaka, which come and go with their respective belt, and a 12-volt motor that can be from a treadmill. Or, in my case, I got it here from an electric steering of a truck. I got it in the one in Gozadera because the transmission is no longer working then, but the motor is, so we are going to build it with this. Later, we are going to need it. Some flat irons to fix the motor and make a base and a small clamp to fix the motor and as a bin or deposit. We are going to use these bins with which they are disposable, but they are very strong, perhaps even better than those of washing machines that are bought ready-made. They are much stronger. The advantage that we are going to have with this is that it is going to use much less water that what one normal uses and its volume will be much smaller because it will not exceed 50 centimeters, 60 in height in the case where there is no space. Or, well, the case also of those who do not have electricity, from the network and need to have a washing machine, the first thing we are going to do is take the machine and take the diameter of this rubber that it has at its base which is where it will seal against, the bottom of the container, and we are going to mark a 48 mm circle on a cardboard in the center. We will cut the cardboard with such precision so that it then fits just right. And once we have the hole in the center, we're going to insert it there. Right on the spot. Now with a hammer, we are going to hit the cardboard up here so that it marks exactly the three holes that we have to make to put it later. The top nut and fix the machine to the bottom of the container. Throwing out that here it has a hole that is to fix it in the car, and here we also have a hole that is to fix the other engine that has the original. This. We are looking for a screw that goes the same. And we screw here to fix it in the event that they are not well aligned. The motor pulley is moved a little more. It is fixed in another side or some supplement is made. As on this side, we have nowhere to fix it because there is no way to hold it. I did. A clamp that is the size of the motor, so we put it here. And with a screw, also the same as on the other side, we will fix it on this part. In this way, this is already fixed. And now we will mount the strap. then taking advantage of this screw that you have here. And this bolt. Let's put here. And here to be able to adjust the strap. We can remove the strap to make assembly easier. In this way, it will already have been at the exact distance between the motor and the machine here. And it fits perfectly. In this way, the whole assembly would already be assembled, and now we must fix it at the bottom of the container. Of course, before assembling, we will test it if it really works. And this is the paddle that the washing machine needs to wash the clothes. 
And now, respecting the polarity, we are going to connect to the battery. Four point seven. So it will work perfectly for a battery. Here on the cardboard, before removing the center, I marked a circle that is exactly this size that you see here. So that it is well centered, so we will proceed to cut it out so that we can then center the template. At the bottom of the container. And now we will proceed to mark the central circle. After we have marked the center well, we mark the three holes without moving the cardboard. Then with a wick, we will pierce exactly where we mark the holes. Yeah. And now with a hot knife, we are going to make the hole as fair as possible so that you can use a torch to heat the knife. The flame of a stove. I'm going to use the beast. You know that the beast gave me an extraordinary result. I know what we have here is an induction heater. And you are going to see how when I just put the knife here, it will heat it up to red in a matter of seconds. That's it, Joe. And now we can cut. We take the machine. And we put it inside. Now we turn. And now we will place the nuts inside that fix it. We are going to place the pallet. Look at the approximate height that we must cut the rest of the bin. The height of the bin should slightly exceed the pallet. About 42 centimeters in which we will make a mark to cut it. And now we'll proceed to cut with the grinder here along the dotted line. To assemble the machine, we are going to put the screws around the base where it sits. A bit of silicone. On the inside, where you will screw the nut and screws, we will also put silicone on it. And we adjust evenly the three screws. Once we have fixed the machine, it is essential to put silicone rubber all over the center, in the central hole, to avoid losses on that part. And this will ensure the tightness of the system. We are going to. Now make the base so that this remains standing. The base is going to be the same one that we have cut the excess piece. Nothing more than turned upside down. We will fit it here. 
That comes under pressure. And in this way, our washing machine, it will be done. Only the details remain. Of the... Of the cable, place the cable. And with this we can put it to wash because I am burning with the desire to try this. Okay, now we've drilled a hole here about the size of a three-quarters nipple for the drain. For this we are going to place, again, silicone rubber all around the nipple and we introduce it into the hole that just enters. Now on the other side, we have a thread that threads the nipple. We are also going to put silicone rubber all around. And now we screw the nut. Now we'll put the discharge hose on that nipple. And for it, we've made a hole here so you can climb outside. The hose. Since there is no pressure here, it is not necessary to put a clamp on it because it fits just right. And here to fix the hose in a place that doesn't get in the way, I made this kind of clamp so that the hose stays there. Like this? Gravity discharge. You only have to hose down a drain and the washing machine will drain. Now we are going to make the electrical connection. And it will be ready. Function. Here I have a small timer. This is also optional if you want to put it, and if not, directly the cables to the motor and connected to a battery. Here I made a hole plus two small holes to fix it. So we are going to place it. This is very simple. I have it with two cables directly with alligator clips for battery. To make it as simple as possible, never put a common plug here because someone might get confused and plug it into 220 volts and burn the motor. So, I only did it with clips to place on a battery. We are going to connect the negative of the battery directly to the motor to the negative of the motor. And now we will need this cable, the positive of the battery. We are going to take it to one of the two terminals of the... From the timer and from the other terminal, we go directly to the motor. This is the electrical connection that it has. It is very simple. And now using the same drum cover, it will not serve as a cover. Well, and now we just have to go try it. So come with me and don't miss it. It's going to be very good. Well, let's proceed with the wash. And we're going to add water. And now we go to the timer to start the wash. As you can see, the work is very, very effective. We have already put the soap on it. I put a little more, I think. Oh, well. And to avoid splashing, we put the lid on it. And for the drain. 
We take the opportunity to water the garden as well. We lower the hose. And with that now the drain... If you liked this video or found it useful, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell so that YouTube notifies you and follow me on my other social networks that I leave the link here. This has been all for this video and it will be until we see each other.